Hey friends, I got this new ice cream maker six or seven months ago. I believe that it was a Christmas gift and I haven't had to use it because it's such a good ice cream maker. I actually have one over here that is making ice cream. I've had this one for almost three years and you know, I've only seen a little bit of wear in it. The reason I have a new ice cream maker is because this one cracked, but usually most ice cream makers typically make it to about six months and then something breaks. So I am very, very pleased with Cuisinart. Yes, and I'm making mint chocolate chip right now. So you can see the mint ice cream spinning around and around. At the end, I will dump some chocolate chips in. Let's go ahead and open it. You know, I'm thinking about using it, not because I have to, but because I need to make a lot of ice cream. Well, I don't really need to. But what is life without ice cream, right? <laughs> I just have to have some ice cream. And you know, I don't eat ice cream every day. I used to, but I cannot go a week without it. I absolutely love, love, love having a nice cold treat. And I think the most fun thing about ice cream to me would be that you can make just about any flavor. So you can use your creative and art part of your mind to, you know, make any kind of imagination possible. Lately, it's been cake ice cream, chocolate cake ice cream, yellow cake ice cream with sprinkles. I love all of that stuff. It is quite easy to assemble. And even though today I'm not going to be eating ice cream in front of you, I just wanted to show you how easy this is, okay? So basically, you take the frozen tub here. It comes, of course, not frozen, and you put it in the freezer. I like to put it for a whole day, so 24 hours, and then you can use it. And so every time you use it, you put it back in the freezer. And the sooner you put it back in the freezer, the better. I used to just like rinse it out with hot water and then just put it in there real quick. Um, but I found that hot water melts this ice thing in the middle really fast and I don't usually wanna wait a whole day. So I use cool water and soap and just get it done real quick, dry it off real good and put it in the freezer. And then this piece right here, you just plop it in there like that. Make sure the little divot in the bottom lines up with the little divot, okay? And then we got this top. It seems to be a little different than the older one that I have over here. We'll take a look at it in a second. Actually, it's not that different. I think it's exactly the same, but I think the only difference would be that over time, it gets worn like this. They say that you should wash it at the sink only with some soap but I've been putting mine in the dishwasher because I live a fast life and I gotta get things clean quickly. So even after about three years of throwing it in the dishwasher, you can see that, you know, it still works. It just has some little fractures in there, that's it. And of course the one on this side, but it still functions. You can still make ice cream after three years of even putting the lid in the dishwasher. So let's go ahead and put this lid on top. It just fits really nicely. It is user friendly, you guys. This is really a great ice cream maker and I don't like to show products that I don't like um, and that are not useful to me. Even though I do Amazon affiliate, I really don't really get that much from them. But I really love this product. It's amazing. So after you freeze this canister in the middle here, you can put it in here. I usually put my ice cream through a blender. Let's go over to the blender. So I'll put all of my ingredients in my Ninja, eggs, milk, cream, sugar, whatever you want, your ingredients. And then I like to dump it in the ice cream maker when I already have it turning. So you gotta take this out from the bottom so you can plug it in. So let me go ahead and get that done. Of course, you're gonna to wanna to cut this little plastic tie off, but it still fits mine, so let's go ahead and try it out. 
Okay, so you're gonna turn this on first, then you pour your ice cream in there. And the reason why this ice cream maker works better than ice cream makers that you see all over Amazon or at Walmart, you know, um, would be because of these little notches. Do you see these little notches? Let me turn it off and show you. Do you see these little notches they have on the top of this plastic piece? They line up with these little notches on the inside. Do you see that? And so the way that they line up, that causes the blade to stop and then that pushes all of the frozen ice cream part off as it spins around. And you see this part is spinning around. You can see the motor down in here. This is the motor. See it spinning around? And because it does that, it's a lot more durable. The other ice cream makers, they'll have the whole blade go around and it'll have just one little tiny rivet holding it in. And that's why other ice cream makers break all the time. So the weak part of this ice cream maker would be the lid. If they could make this lid out of a better plastic, I think it would last forever, as long as the motor lasts. So it's really amazing, I love it. There are so many pluses to this ice cream maker, barely any cons. So besides the lid, the only other thing I don't like about this ice cream maker, but it's still a nine out of 10 for me, would be, you guessed it, can you hear that? Yes, so I left it running the whole time in this video so you can hear how loud this ice cream maker is when you put ice cream in it or ingredients in it. It is so loud. But I would still choose this one over other ice cream makers. They run between $80 and $120 depending on what time of year that you buy them if you get them on sale. I'm very, very pleased with Cuisinart. Yes, Cuisinart, you get a 9 out of 10, and I'm going to put an Amazon affiliate link in the description. Have a beautiful, blessed day, and make lots of ice cream, and have fun. Bye.